Happy learning! Hi, welcome to our Pharma Topics channel. Welcome to the first series of uh, Clinical Research and Pharmacovigilance. In this uh, video, we are going to see about uh, ICHGCP guidelines, Schedule Y and ICMR. First, uh, let us know what is ICH. It is International Conference on uh, Harmonization. The International Conference on Harmonization of Technical Requirements for Registration of Pharmaceuticals for Human Use. It is commonly referred to as uh, ICH. It is an organization that brings together the regulatory authorities and pharmaceutical industry to develop and establish international guidelines for development, registration and post-approval of pharmaceutical products. And the primary participants are USA, Europe and Japan and the observers are Canada, Australia and Scandinavian countries. Uh, let us know what is ICH uh, E6R2 guidelines. IC, uh, the ICH E6 uh, guidelines are also known as ICH uh, E6 R2. It refers to the guideline for good clinical practice E6 R2 developed by uh, International Conference on Harmonization. The guideline provides a framework for conduct of clinical trials and ethical principles that should be uh, followed to ensure the safety, integrity and reliability of the clinical trial data. The R2 is the in the title indicates that it is the second revision of the original E6 guideline. Let us see what is a good clinical practice. Good clinical practice uh, is an international ethical and scientific quality standard for design, conduct, recording and reporting of clinical trials involving human subjects. GCP guidelines uh, are designed to ensure the protection of participants, rights, safety and well-being as well as to provide uh, credible and uh, reliable data on safety and efficacy of investigational products. Uh, let us see the combination of ICHGCP guidelines. ICHGCP stands for International Conference on Harmonization of Technical Requirements for the Registration of Pharmaceuticals for Human Use and Good Clinical Practice. It's uh, a set of uh, internationally recognized guidelines that outline the standards and principles for conducting clinical trials involving human subjects. These guidelines are intended to ensure the ethical conduct, safety and reliability of clinical trials and data generated from them. First one is the clinical trial design and protocol development. The guidelines for developing a scientifically sound and ethically justified clinical tri trial protocol is the first guideline of ICHGCP. Then informed consent. Guidelines for uh, obtaining voluntary and informed consent from trial participants, ensuring that uh, fully informed about the trial's purpose, procedures, potential risks and benefits is the second guideline. Then the next guideline is safety monitoring and reporting. Uh, it provides the guidelines for ensuring the safety of uh, trial participants through systematic uh, monitoring and uh, reporting of adverse events and serious adverse events. Then the next is uh, data collection and management. It provides the guidelines for collecting accurate and reliable data through proper documentation and record keeping procedures. Then quality assurance and quality control. It uh, provides guidelines for implementing quality assurance and control measures to ensure the integrity of the trial data and adherence to the GCP principles. Then investigator responsibilities. It also provides the guidelines outlining the responsibilities of the investigators conducting uh, the clinical trials including their role in ensuring participant safety and data accuracy. Then uh, ethics committees and institutional review boards. It provides guidelines for the role and responsibilities of the ethical committees or uh, the institutional review boards in reviewing and uh, approving the clinical trial protocols. Monitoring and auditing. It provides guidelines for monitoring and auditing of uh, clinical trials to verify compliance with protocol requirements and GCP standards. But then it has the guideline for uh, maintaining essential documents related to the trial including the protocol, informed consent forms and other trial related documents. Then clinical trial reports. It has the guidelines for preparing accurate and comprehensive clinical trial reports for regulatory submission and publication. 
then let us see what is schedule y it is the uh, cdsco rules to conduct clinical trials in india schedule y refers to the schedule within the drugs and cosmetics act of india that provides guidelines and regulations for the conduct of clinical trials and new drug approvals in india these rules are enforced by central drug standard control organization which is the regulatory authority for pharmaceuticals and medical devices in india it is concerned with uh, uh, mainly two things one is the clinical trials and the approval of new drugs first uh, let us see the guidelines for conduct of clinical trials first is the approval process it uh, provides the procedures for obtaining uh, approval from uh, drug controller general of india for conducting clinical trials uh, then it uh, has the information about uh, the informed consent it provides guidelines for obtaining informed consent from the trial participants and necessary documentation then ethical committees it uh, provides the requirements for composition functions and responsibilities of ethical committee uh, reviewing and approving the clinical trial protocols then investigators uh, responsibilities it provides the guidelines for uh, duties and responsibilities of uh, investigators conducting clinical trials including adherence to good, cl good clinical practice guidelines uh, it provides guidelines for monitoring the progress of clinical trials and reporting adverse events it uh, provides the regulations uh, related to import manufacture and distribution of investigational new drugs for clinical trials then uh, new drug approvals it uh, outlines the requirements for obtaining approval for new drugs in india including the investigational new drug it provides the requirements for uh, obtaining permission to import manufacture or distribute an investigational new drug for clinical trials it uh, provides the guidelines for clinical data including safety and efficacy data for the approval of new drugs then uh, it provides uh, the guidelines for conducting multicentric trials involving uh, multiple uh, sites across india then it provides the regulations for post approval studies and monitoring of new drugs after they are granted marketing authorization let us see icmr guidelines for clinical research uh, indian council of uh, medical research it is an apex body in india for formulation coordination and promotion of uh, biomedical research it plays a crucial role in uh, setting the direction and priorities for medical research in india and let us see the composition of icmr so it has a president director general governing body uh, scientific advisory committee it has a collaboration with the institutes and centers which are approved by icmr and it has international and national collaborations with other bodies also and let us see the national ethical guidelines for biomedical and health research involving human participants by icmr it is a comprehensive document issued by icmr to provide ethical guidance for researchers institutions ethics committees and other stakeholders involving biomedical and health research in india these guidelines are designed to ensure the protection of human participants rights safety and well being during research activities they provide a framework for ethical conduct transparency and accountability in research involving human participants these guidelines uh, cover various aspects of research including the study design participant recruitment informed consent privacy confidentiality data management and even more so it's a very short information of uh, the icsgcp guidelines schedule y and icmr i hope it will be useful for you thank you for listening happy learning kindly share this to more of your friends kindly subscribe to our pharma topics channel if you like this video kindly press the like button go through all the series uh, which will be in the playlist uh, clinical research and pharmacovigilance in the pharma topics channel and score well in your forthcoming exams thank you